Hi everyone. So God is saying that they are being crushed. It's their last day for this tree. It's the last day for this tree. They are being crushed. It is you that they wanted to crush. It is you that they wanted to destroy. Yet you've been innocent. But now they were after your blood. They were after your blood. But God is saying that, uh uh, not with you, not with you, because you have been innocent. But now it's time for them to pay back. It's time for them to pay back in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why, here, when you read from the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 24, the Bible says, at the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Hallelujah. So you can see here from where we've been reading, this is the story about Daniel. So there were people who were jealous that Daniel was soon about to be appointed now to be calm second in command to the king they did not want to see that happening and then now they planned an attack on him now they made sure that he ended up now being thrown into the lion's den and the king really liked he really liked daniel he really liked daniel he tried to stop it but because the decree was final he could not stop it but even though he was thrown into the lion's den, God still rescued him. God still shut the mouths of the lion so that Daniel does not get hurt. So, but when now he was taken out of the lion's den, now the king was so overjoyed, but now angry at the people who were the masterminds, at the people who had plotted this, at the people who were responsible now for making the king now to have blood on his hands because the king could see that now he was about to have the blood of Daniel on his hands and he did not want that to be happening. The king could see that now these people had tricked him they were just using him. They were just using him to get to Daniel. The king now could see their true intentions, their motives. Hallelujah. So that is why he became so angry and said that now these people, let them be thrown into the lion's den. And not only them, not only the people who falsely accused uh, Daniel, even their wives, secondly, and also their children. It means now the king was so angry that he wanted to cut off that bad tree he did not want to see a generation continue of that bad people of such people of such evil people he did not want to see it continuing that is why now everyone had to be destroyed the wives had to be destroyed and even the children had to be destroyed to make sure that such people such dna does not continue so god is also saying in your life your enemies it is their last day they have been trying to crush you but guess who's going to be crushed it is them who's going to be crushed that is why you could see here it says and before they reached the floor of the den the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones so god is saying today it is not even going to be him who is crushing these people but there will be lions that are going to overpower them and crush them in the mighty name of jesus the lions that they had set for you will be the same lions to crush them in the mighty name of Jesus. You could see that now these people had set the attack for Daniel. They wanted the lions to attack Daniel, but the lions did not attack Daniel. But now the same weapon that they were using for Daniel, it was the same weapon that was being used upon them. It's the same weapon that worked on them. So God is also still saying today that the plans of your enemies are going to backfire they are going to backfire it is them now who are going to suffer the consequences of their plans of their evil plots in the mighty name of jesus it is them who are going to suffer the consequences it won't be you. It can't be you. It can't be you in the mighty name of Jesus. The lions are not going to overpower you. 
Ten lions are not going to crush you, but they will crush the bones of your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the weapons they wanted to use on you will be used on them. God is disarming now the kingdom of darkness. God is disarming the kingdom of darkness. God is disarming those who wanted to see your downfall, those who were after your life, those who were after your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. God is still saying that he will continue fighting for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You can't be meat for your enemies. You can't be meat for the lions. Not you, not you. You are the chosen one of God. God has chosen you for greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. It's time now for this evil generation to come to an end. This evil people to come to an end. Their end is near. God is saying that their end is near. Their type is coming to an end. Their jealous type is coming to an end. Their evil type, their scheming type is coming to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. God is assigning their own weapons to deal with them. Their own witchcraft is going to deal with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Their own weapons are going to strike them back. The end that they have been using, that they have been sending your way to come and devour you, to come and destroy you. The same animals are going to devour them in the mighty name of Jesus. The pit that they had set for you, they themselves are going to fall into that pit in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is still saying in your life, he is going to fight for you, not with you, not with you. For you, he's going to shut the mouths of the lion whatever animal whether they've assigned snakes to becoming your way god is saying that those snakes are not even going to bite you those snakes are not even going to bite you or put in their poison in you. God will shut their mouths. But the same snakes that they have brought your way will be the same snakes to bite them. In the mighty name of Jesus, their snakes will now attack them. Their snakes that they have set for you will now attack them. In the mighty name of Jesus, because the king is angry. The Lord is angry. You are innocent. They are hurting the anointed one of God. They have tried to hurt the chosen one of God. God is saying that you are his chosen one. You are his chosen one. Your enemies, your enemies, they can't gloat over you. They can't take pride that they have successfully ended your life. God can't allow it. God is not going to allow it in the mighty name of Jesus. So it will be the end for the people who are the masterminds for your downfall, who are the masterminds for you being fired, for their family members, for their spouses, for their children. Their type can't continue any longer. They can't go on scheming evil, ending lives. They can't go on. God is saying that no, they can't. They can't destroy more lives. It ends now. It ends today in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. So may God fight for you from your known and unknown enemies in jesus powerful name amen